My next plate of food is the grilled salmon belly. Oh, you can hardly even pick up this whole thing without it just collapsing because it's so soft. That is a mouthful of omega-3s. Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii. Right now I'm in Chinatown. And there's a restaurant, it's called Maguro Brothers. My uncle told me about it. Uh, it looks really awesome. They have local food, mostly Japanese, especially lots of fish and sashimi there. And it looks really good. It's within the market. Uh, and it's, yeah, it looks really awesome. So we're gonna go eat there right now and I'm gonna show you all the food. This is a relatively recently opened restaurant. It's within the fish market. Uh, and there, yeah, you, you can come, actually this is a full market, you can come here to buy lots of vegetables, they have fresh seafood, uh, a lot of my relatives' family come here to buy vegetables as well because it's, uh, they have affordable prices, but anyway, it's at the back of the market, it's called Maguro Brothers, and okay, I can see it right now, this is the spot. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, on Chu Toro Donburi. Can I have some puni also with okay. it? This is a really cool place. Uh, it's yeah, it's a stall within the market. They have the premium grades of ahi, which is tuna below here. They also have salmon. They have a variety of different seafoods as well. I like the menu. The menu is pretty pretty straight to the point. Most of them are bowls. There's poke bowls, which is the Hawaiian style. Then they have a, a selection of grilled fish. Then they have sushi bowls, which is the Japanese style. But this is, uh, it's more on the Japanese side as opposed to the Hawaiian side. A lot of people come here for takeaway, but they do have a handful of tables, about five different tables that you can sit at if you get a seat. Uh, but what I like is that it's a full open kitchen, you can see them cooking, they have a stack of tuna lined up for making poke, for making sashimi, uh, and then she's also frying some fish that we ordered as well. Uh, yeah, this is this is a great spot. And this one's salmon belly. Yeah, we, we were originally sitting at this table but I think he thought the table was a little too small for the amount of food that we ordered, so he moved us over here. Uh, and they're really nice, they even serve it to you, even though it's like a, it's a, it's a market stall and you kind of walk up to the counter to get your food. He came over here to, to serve it to our table. Uh, that was nice of him, this looks extraordinary. I gotta go straight in for this chutoro, and chutoro is the medium fatty tuna. Uh, you can see that white mix of fat within the, the redness, so it's more of a pink color. And then I also got a little bit of uni on the side. I saw they were offering uni, which is sea urchin. Uh, it comes over a bed of rice. It looks like they sprinkled on just a little bit of uh, soy sauce. Uh, there's rice on the bottom here, and then there's a little bit of uh, seaweed, and then some green onions. Okay, the first thing I have to do is just taste that fish. That's insane. Oh, that, yeah, that's just effortless chewing. It just melts. It's so fresh, it's so pure. Stick this onto the piece of chutoro. Lift up with rice. Mm. That uni is like, almost like peanut buttery in taste. It almost has a nutty taste to it. It's really creamy. Um, it's really, really smooth as well. <laughs> Got some wasabi on that bite too. Mm. Oh, that was my first bite of rice. The rice is a little bit seasoned. Um, it's perfect temperature, first of all. It's just lukewarm. It has a little bit of a salty seasoning and maybe just a little hint of vinegar in there. Mm. I was just expecting it to be regular rice, but even the rice has some umami flavor to it. My next plate of food is the grilled salmon belly. This is something I couldn't resist. They also have grilled ahi belly, which is grilled tuna belly, which also I know would be extraordinary. Uh, but this time I went with the salmon since I have so much tuna already. I just gotta pick up this whole chunk. Oh, oh, you can see, look underneath that rice. You can see how the oil has just started to seep onto the rice. It's shimmering. Oh, you can hardly even pick up this whole thing without it just collapsing because it's so soft. Okay, I'll let that piece go and I'll, I'll just grab this fin and it's just oozing with oily fattiness. Oh, that is stunner. Oh, that just melts and oozes. Mm. 
Oh, that's extraordinary. It's so rich. That's ridiculously good. Wow. Like, that's everything you need in a single bite. And again, they're right. Actually, this is this is plain rice compared to the the sashimi bowl, which is more the sushi rice. The rice is cooked perfectly. No mistakes with the rice. You've got that light furikake on there, a little bit of seaweed uh, with sesame seeds, and then yeah, those fatty juices from that salmon belly have leaked all over the rice to just make it rich and oily and it's so flavorful. The juiciness will blow your mind. That is a mouthful of omega-3s. Okay, the final dish that I got is uh, Hawaiian style poke, which is raw fish, but it, instead of slicing it sashimi style, it's sliced into cubes, it's cubed. Uh, this is the Hawaiian style limu. So there's limu, which is this type of uh, seaweed. Uh, there are some sweet onions in here. And what the difference about this poke is that they make it completely fresh. Uh, so oftentimes you'll go to a, a poke restaurant in Hawaii and they, they mix it and it marinates, it sits in the sauce. Uh, but the difference here is that they, they, they have all the fresh fish just in slabs. And as soon as you order it, they mix it on spot. So this is like as fresh as possible. Um, just the pureness of that fish is, it's mind blowing. Put it in my pocket. Oh. Oh, wow. You gotta get tea and you gotta finish. Oh, that's. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh, that melts in your mouth. You can taste just that. That Hawaiian salt. Um, you get the crunch, the beautiful crunch of the limu. The sweet onions, the green onions as well. Just a little bit of chili in there. It's also not that salty, and I think they do that on purpose so that you can add more soy sauce to your liking if you would like that. Um, but actually, I, I, I prefer it kind of less salty. Um, so just so you can just taste the, just the pureness, just that fish, the natural ingredient. Okay. That broke the mouth. For this bite, I'll just add a little bit of soy sauce. It is good with a little bit of soy sauce too, but you don't even need it. Um, yeah, that's just, I only ordered a half a pound. You could just eat a half a pound nonstop without, without taking a break. Finished with lunch, and that was a really early lunch. We got here at about 10, I think about 10:15, uh, and we were one of the first people here because they hadn't even um, taken some of the chairs down from the tables. Now it's full, uh, and they sometimes have a line up here, and it's still before lunch. It's like 11:15 right now, but that's because their food is absolutely extraordinary, really, really fresh. You can taste the. I mean, it's it's more on the Japanese side. They have both raw and they have cooked fish that you can order here. Uh, but even with their poke, it's more on the Japanese side because it really focuses on the actual quality of the, the ahi itself as opposed to the marinade. So it wasn't even salty. You, you can add a little bit of soy sauce on your own, uh, but the, the pureness, the freshness, that, that's what speaks for itself. That was so good. Uh, it was actually so good that I had to order again, so we're waiting for some takeaway to bring back to my, some of my relatives. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Okay. I got to go to myself. Thank you. Got the takeaway. This is just a really awesome, awesome place in Honolulu, right in the market. It's called Maguro Brothers. They're really friendly. The food is really good quality. Uh, it's 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 medium priced so some of the bowls some of the dishes are about ten dollars for the box but it's really worth it because the fish is such good quality and i fully enjoyed both and, and another thing i like is that you can get you can get one dish that's raw one dish that's cooked and see the contrast both are good um, and yeah highly recommended if you have a chance to come to chinatown in honolulu when you're here this is a place, Maguro Brothers, you don't want to miss. I'm going to go ahead and end this lunch vlog right now. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the all the all the information and the prices and everything below in the description box so you can check it out. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll get notified of my next food videos. I'm gonna be sharing lots more food videos with you. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.